If you have a 4K TV or a more up-to-date HD TV or AV receiver or soundbar, you might have noticed that one of the HDMI ports is labeled as HDMI ARC or EARC. So what is the purpose of this new technology acronym? I'm Derek from Sony, and I'm gonna break down exactly what this means and what it might do for you. So imagine you have your cable box, gaming console, Blu-ray player, uh, all plugged into your TV with HDMI. And then you probably are using some sort of streaming application on your TV as well. Now, instead of using your TV's little itty bitty speakers, you wanna take advantage of that great new receiver or soundbar that you bought. That's where ARC comes into play. With the audio return channel, it allows you to use one HDMI cable to send that audio from the TV out into your soundbar or your receiver to make things very easy. So prior to HDMI ARC, sometimes you would have multiple cables plugging in between your audio device and your video device. One cable to carry the video signal and another cable to carry your audio signal. Now that that's kind of put into one HDMI cable, it makes it a lot easier. And on top of that, it's a two-way signal. So take, for example, if you have an AV receiver and you have your video devices plugged into it. Now it's very simple for the AV receiver to then send the video out to the TV. No problem keeping it simple. However, a lot of people now tend to stream directly from applications on their TV. And that's the great thing about ARC is that now with that same single cat connection cable, you can then send your audio from your TV out into your receiver. So it's a nice, convenient, less cluttered way to get a two-way path of video and audio. So in addition to just sending a video or audio signal, the HDMI ARC can actually send a communication signal or a data information signal, which is great because in that sense, you can just turn your TV on and it will then send a signal to your audio device to also power on. In a lot of cases as well, you can just control the volume by using the TV remote to control your audio system as well. And one final note on HDMI ARC is that your current HDMI cables should work just fine for that. Uh, but if you are looking to get into the features of eARC, which I'm about to talk about, you may need to update your cables. So let's just use this segue to go right on into that. So eARC came about because of the requirements of some of the modern sound technologies, such as object-based audio requiring a much higher bandwidth. And that's really the main purpose of what you get out of eARC is that higher bandwidth, which will give you the capability of a 5.1 or 7.1 uncompressed surround sound audio format, as well as object-based formats such as DTSX or Dolby Atmos. And if you really wanna get a theatrical sound, eARC is really gonna be the way to go. Now, as I mentioned in regards to your cables, now with HDMI ARC, you might be fine with what you have, but if you're not sure if you have a high-speed cable or one of the next-gen ultra high speed cables, you may need to upgrade your HDMI cable in order to take advantage of the eARC features. Now, I also wanna mention that in terms of ARC and eARC, you need both a compatible TV and an audio device in order to take advantage of those features. So I hope this helps you understand exactly what HDMI ARC and eARC do and possibly some of the benefits of what it can do for you specifically. So if you have any other additional questions, make sure you check us out at sony.com or click the link in the description below to find our one-on-one -on -one consultation program where you can talk to someone like myself and answer more questions in a little bit more detail for you. So thanks for watching.